Hi, welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner, and today we're going to make something called a fresca. It's uh, citrus water, and it's really healthy. I typically don't like to drink water, but when I have it fresca sized, I love to drink it. And this gets fresh vitamin C. A one lemon, a lime, and this is a tangelo, and it can you can use an orange tangerine if it's orange and it's a fruit you can use it um, and then for color you can get a prickly pear uh, this one's kind of I hope it's okay it's a little bit it's not as uh, big or as red as I'd like it to be but I'm sure it'll still work and um, you can also if you want you can throw in a few fresh stra strawberry strawberries uh, to, the, to the mix so let's get started. You're gonna need, the first thing I suggest to work on is the lime. Get a vegetable peeler. So you're gonna peel this off all the way around. Make sure you have a sharp vegetable peeler. That's gonna smell really good. After you peel everything, you're not gonna peel everything with a vegetable peel, just the lime because the skin's so thin and you don't want to waste any of that juice. And if you have a, um, if you have a food processor, this is where this comes in handy. I have a mini one, a mini food processor. So if you have a bigger one, good. Uh, you don't necessarily need a food processor. You can, I'll show you a couple ways you can do it. Now if you want, you can slice a real thin slice of each before you, you blend them and you can add that to the water if you have like a big glass pitcher. So when you put the, uh, the slices in it kind of decorates it a little bit. You know, everyone likes to look at decorated. So get this the best you can, as fast as you can. Take the top off with a knife. And just any any parts that are missed with a knife. And now we have a let's see a naked lime. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this is my little food processor. If you have it, great. If you don't, uh, get yourself a bowl like this. So let me put that bowl somewhere, back where it was, because there's not much room here. Okay, take the lime, slice it in half. Mmm, mmm, it smells so good. And what's neat about lime, it incorporates to everything else. It really isn't that strong. And if you have a big food processor, cut it. Uh, he can cut it in half only or cut it in fourths like I'm going to do. I'm going to process one, one at a time. If you have a blender, that's even better. And if you don't have either, maybe not a glass bowl. Let's see. I'm sure it will work. Take your little innocent lime, stick it in there, get a spatula. Now this sounds disheartening, but very carefully because it does squirt. Just kind of really mash it as good as you can with the, I'll turn this down here a little bit. See a little pearl of innocent lime in there? And just kind of really mash it as well as you can. It's going to squirt. Feel juice coming out. And just keep on tenderizing it because what you're going to do is you're going to add water to that. Okay, let's move on. So we're gonna leave that right there. Now we're gonna make some noise. Okay, first you have to plug it in. If you can't plug it in. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're gonna blend our first one. So put that sucker on high. The 
line is, it's, it's all going to look, it doesn't have to be all totally, it's going to disintegrate basically. And there's going to be big chunks, little chunks, all kinds of chunks. What you want is just to chunkify it. And like the little piece here that's, that's all mashed up. That's still okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to flood this with water after a, a while. So let's get the rest of them. Chunk of ice. And you'll find out where... You'll find out really fast where all your cuts are on your hands when you do the lemon and the lime. So cut the top off cut with a knife. And this one you can peel more if, if you got a nice lemon. Some of them you can peel like an orange, and uh, some of them you can't, but another good thing to do is I'll keep all the lemon, lime, and the orange peel, and uh, you can use it as an air freshener, or take a bit of them, stick them down your garbage disposal, grind them, it smells, it makes your garbage disposal smell nice. So like any kind of um, potpourri, that's what they use, dried, dried lemon peel. Make your own. Okay. Chop it in half. This is really juicy. Take the spatula out. Let's juice this one. be just perfect or it doesn't work. Yeah. Well that's good enough. So let's reset it by taking it off. And look at all that good juice. So this almost looks like a, a, a mishmash of citrus. Okay. Now for the orange. Take the top off. Peel it. And this is really juicy. Smells good too. And what, by doing this is because um, the vitamins in the lemon, the lime, and the changelo here are better if you have them right away. It's, oh wow. Talk about juicy. This is really juicy. Okay, let's stick that in there. Oh, forget the blade. Huh. That's not going to do anything. So, let me reset this. Stuff those down in there. Okay, well, if you have an emergency like I am, no big deal. Take them out. Stick them in here since they're so juicy. It's not going to matter. Try it once without the, the product in there. I think my thing just died. Or, oh, wait, ah, nope, it's still on. Hmm. Hit the circuit. Oh, nope, it's dead. Okay, well, maybe it's camera shy, but guess what? We're still going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to put my skills to the test here. Okay, get your handy dandy spatula and chop up those oranges. Do it gently or you're going to be we wearing perfume, which I just got myself right in the face. Luckily it was the orange and not the lemon. Okay. Just work that really good because you want to get all that juice out, that all that wonderful juice. Okay. Now let's go for our. This is gonna do. Take the top and the bottom off. This adds some really nice color. So let's peel this.
Just peel the skin off. And now this stuff does stain. I mean, if you have anything like my black and white shirt on, which I shouldn't have wore, but I have on. Okay, this is going to add some nice color. So chop that up. And the seeds are really big. You might want to like dice it really small. Okay, and see how this dyes in your hands? This is, this is good for dye. If you want any natural dye or anything you want to make that's edible, if you want a pink dye, this, this is the stuff to use. Okay, chop that up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some water. And it's going to look like a big huge mess. Put two cups of water, or a cup and a half, and you're just going to come back in. I got a potato masher. Just mash it. Mash it. Just because you want all that. Just be careful. You want all that juice out. Take some ingenuity. And if someone comes by, you're going to go, What in the world are you making? Now look at that nice color that's coming through right now. They're going to be like, uh, Have you lost your mind? It's telling me it has an extra aggression at work and you're taking it out on the fruit. And just work it really good. Now I'm going to speed things up here a little bit because... Okay, now what we're going to want to do... Get this good old... Strainer. And I think I have another glass container here so you can see. Now mind you, you are going to want to put sugar with this. This is not, if you drink this straight out without sugar, a little bit of sugar in it, you're going to be puckering like crazy. Gently mash it. For all that nice juice to come out. And if you want to, don't throw this away. There's still a lot of juice in it. Put some more, put it with some more water. Let it sit in the refrigerator in a glass. And you will have lemon. It'll still be, it'll still be. It won't be as much, but there'll be a lot of juice that comes out. So let's not throw it, don't throw it away. Let's put that back in the glass. Now let me get a okay. Real quick here. Look at that all that nice juice. Look how pretty that looks. There you go. And I've gotta go. I'll have a picture of it. You can put sugar. You can put um, all kinds of things in it. You can even put slices of fruit in it, strawberries. I'll see you later. I'm not going to sip it because I'm going to pucker. Noodles.